so just recall the method of routers measurement which you have done on metrology workshop or metrology lab so in this case uh, see this one is a round cylindrical job it's a cylindrical job and this one is placed over a v block like this and uh, uh, this one is made to rotate any direction clockwise or anti clockwise over the V block. And this uh, is actually gauged with a dial gauge over the surface of the cylinder. And the dial will give you the deflection if there is a variation in the roundness. So these methods are known as intrinsic methods. Intrinsic. Intrinsic method of measuring the roundness because here the datum surface is nothing but the surface of the work is itself and uh, that's why it is known as intrinsic method but these intrinsic methods are not so accurate so in precision engineering we are going for another method known as extrinsic methods now consider the extrinsic methods. So extrinsic methods are nothing but uh, the probe. That is, this one is the probe, or other is known as pickup. Pickup, and this pickup has got a datum or rotating axis is externally from the workpiece. So, so we choose a datum externally. So that is extrinsic methods. So extrinsic methods are again classified into two this one is the first method that is rotating probe this one is a rotating probe uh, that means the workpiece is held fixed over a table like this this one is a table so table is fixed and the workpiece is also uh, laid stationary over the table and a pickup is made to rotate on an axis like this and this pickup is rotating around the workpiece and that is taking the variations over the surface and the second one is rotating table type this one is a rotating table type so the table is made to rotate our workpiece is fixed over the table so the table is rotating means workpiece is also get rotated and there will be a fixed probe here the probe is fixed and this will record the variations in the or deflections on the surface the just explained methods are basically on roundness testers roundness tester the rounder tester is the most precise way of or precise equipment used for measuring the roundness. And another one is CMR. So these are the two equipments used for precise measurement of roundness. But the roundness testers are more accurate and the accuracy is given in terms of repeatability and the repeatability of Roundness tester is around 0.25 micrometers, whereas for CM coordinate measuring machines, it is around 10 micrometers. So we can tell that the roundness testers are very precise compared to CM. So for precise measurements, we will go for roundness testers. And in recapping the uh, v block method that is the intrinsic method uh, we have constructed a profile uh, like this we are we, we will fix one diameter or radius as the datum so we will construct a datum circle like this and for various uh, circumference that means the circumference we are usually divided into uh, some eight parts like this or some cases it is in 12 parts so in each part we are numbering this as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 etc so in each point we are 
finding the deflection and using this uh, deflection we are constructing a chart like this we are connecting all the deflection we are marking actually we are here also we are dividing into eight uh, that is a datum circle so from this datum circle what is the deflection that deflections we are marking on each points so we will get a point like this and these points are connected so this one is actually showing the uh, this one is actually representing graphically representing the uh, roundness variations roundness error so this distance is nothing but the deflection so here we are having a notation delta ri this one is a deflection so this one is uh, in the intrinsic method intrinsic we have already practiced in the laboratory so in this case these are intrinsic uh, so but now we are going for the extrinsic method so extrinsic method uh, which one we will use as this datum circle that is a problem so that is what we are going to discuss let's consider an eccentric method that is the table rotating type of roundness tester so in this case we are fixing the workpiece this one is the workpiece over the rotating table so the rotating table is rotating with this axis and we are fixing this workpiece over this one but it is very difficult to align the center of the workpiece with the center of the table so that is very difficult and it is not uh, possible so in precise times it is not at all possible so we are left it with uh, some eccentricity so the problem is that even if this workpiece is round within our limits or precisely made and it is having very less or it is almost round but the probe will record some eccentricity because of this eccentricity of the center of workpiece with the center of the table so in this case it is impractical to use a round circle a quite round circle as the data so if we try to construct a polar chart for this type of work pieces so what is polar chart polar chart is like this so this will have the divisions like this and we are uh, actually magnifying the delta ris and that delta ris are marked over here So we will have a chart and this chart is known as polar chart and if we consider a polar chart of work piece in this kind of setup then that will have a shape like this because because of this eccentricity even if we are using an ideal cylinder but it will show some irregularity because of this eccentricity so it will have a shape an oval shape like this so this oval shaped circle is known as lima cone lima cone circle okay so this is the lima cone circle so in uh, while measuring roundness using these methods that is around and testers we are instead of a circle we are using a lima cone as a datum so here shows the equation associated with a lima cone so that is r i is equal to r o plus x zero cos theta i plus y zero cos sin theta i so where this x0 and y0 are the coordinates of eccentricity because we know that uh, the axis of work piece is shifted to is shifted from the axis of rotation of the table so that is eccentricity we don't know what is eccentricity so we are assuming that 
the eccentricity in uh, the coordinates of eccentricities are x0 and y0 and r0 is actually representing the radius of the lima cone circle and ri is which is the distance from the center to the circumference with the theta i value so theta i value means we are dividing the entire surfaces so the theta is also varying so each theta i value we will have different ri values because of this eccentricity so the ri value is given us there is a fixed circle that is ro plus that is circle radius ro plus x0 cos theta i plus y0 sin theta i so in next class we will discussing uh, a sample problem to how how we will determine the roundness of a workpiece using this lima coin. Thank you for watching and stay safe.